Alright, so I changed my jaws and this is why I wanted it to be like perfectly square so it would nicely sit in these jaws and it would be really centered for the hole tool to dig in and make the hole. So we're going to do that now and I'm just going to bring it as close as I can because I do want to have all the holes kind of having the same depth so I might have to make a little mark on the first one on my uh, spindle tool here so I'm just going to keep the speed quite slow because this is the first time I use this tool so I don't want to get too brave okay there we go and we gently bring the tool in I'm just going to see how far it actually goes in. I actually want to like, I want, actually want to get it like kind of like to the half of it, so a little bit more, I would say. That looks good. So I'm going to repeat that for all the other ones as well. Because I need to move my sled back. I want to have it precisely where I had it. So I'm just going to mark it with a bit of tape. Like that. Get some tape. Put it right there, so I know exactly how close I need to bring it back after I loosened it. Okay, so now I have room to mount this one. Block goes in. Yep. Okay, it's gripped. Now I bring my sled back to the marker. A little bit more. There. And we start the process over again. We're about ready to. Uh, do a few more things to the frame. Now these blocks that I made, right, these four screws, they're actually not in there to give it any stability. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, a two pen connection on each piece, right, um, we're going to glue them together, right, and then put these blocks into place so it's nice and tight and it can dry out and it gives us some, some stability and then we already have 
like a firm foundation to, for the legs to put in. Uh, we're going to glue that as well on the sides. So um, when, it, when it comes to using pens, pen connections, make sure you get one of these jigs, right? Um, probably, you know, some really good carpenters can do this just by hand or by just marking down. Um, I'm happy to be a very lazy man, so I got myself this jig. Uh, I think it cost me like 20 euros. Um, a couple of things you need to keep in mind, right? Yeah, uh, you need to choose what kind of diameter uh, of uh, pen you're going to use. So I'm going to use a 10 millimeter. So I got this 10 millimeter drill that comes with the kit, and you'll notice this little stopper here that you can adjust, right? Uh, the way to use it is the pen is about 40 mils in length so each hole we need to drill has to be at least 20 deep so how do you figure that out okay well you got this rotating wheel here uh, I've already set it on 10 millimeters so I stick it in there right and I look at the top here and I get my where is my trusty measuring fellow somewhere somewhere there right so and I know that from the top here it has to go down at least 20 so I check that so I'm good to go right so this is all set up now what I've done is actually I measured kind of like the height of where my pins are going to go I kind of like experimented with it because there is this little jig here that you can move it up and down and I went for um, kind of checking it out uh, one pen going 15 mil in and one pen going 30 mil in um, the whole base of this piece of wood is about 40 mil so you know it gives plenty of room um, and before I actually you know start drilling I just like made two little holes in there by just pushing the drill into it see actually you know where it is going are you happy with it and also check that the depth you're going to drill is not come out, come out on the other side because you know that's you know defeating the whole point of having that invisible connection there so um, I got my uh, trusty cordless charge together it's barely gonna fit in here all right okay so there it goes okay and before I start like I take the pieces that I'm going to work with so the bottom piece and the left piece here and I'm just going to have a look you know while I have it here just fitting it on each other and just holding it there in place and just having a look you know is everything all right because as soon as I start drilling these holes I'm committed so what I also do is make sure like if I align this is this 90 degrees and it is 90 degrees what a miracle God just bless the Microsoft okay so I'm going to start with this one and then we do it on this side as well using the same measurements and we should have a perfect pen connection I hope All right this is actually the first time I'm using this jig so bear with me right where you're going to fill just make sure I've got it set to 15 yep 15 up right I'm just going to align it on the inside here that should be all right because the more I go to the inside, the more room I have left here. Aligned. There we go. That's the first hole done. Right, which we did at 15. Now the second hole that we're going to do at 30 mils. And I do want to be precise with that because I'm going to repeat this step 
with the other one as well. Okay. Just making sure that it will sit exactly where it needs to sit. Okay, there we go. So there we have it. This is where our two pens are going to go, go in. So, all right. We're just going to check. We're going to do that on this side as well. So, now I want to need to keep in mind that I now have to measure from this side to this side, right? If I do it like that, it's never going to align. So, doing the same thing. Measuring from this side, right? Oh, we don't want to have this kind of slips. All right, it's a good thing that we haven't really started sanding and everything because we're going to have some claw marks on there there's no way you're going to prevent that okay snugly in there okay set this back to 15 oh, oh, a little bit back because that has to be spot on if it isn't your pen connection is just not going to fit There it is. I'm just going to knock out any sawdust. I think we got just a match up there. I'm just going to have like a quick look if they align. Oh, look at that. I think that's going to be working perfect. Okay. What I'm going to do be doing one corner at a time. Okay, so I'm just going to get this one out. Get my drill bit ready. I'm going to be using that to put the screws. All right. Now, okay, let's create some room to do this button. I need a bigger workbench. <laughs> All right, wood glue. Right, this is a scary part, because now if it doesn't align up as much as I hope it would, we have to take everything apart again. 
So I'm just going to squirt a bit of glue in the holes here. Doesn't need to be too much. All right. I'm going to find my trusty mallet. All right. I'm just going to move the tile here and I'm just going to tap this in. Looks as far as it's going to go. Same for this one. I'll just give you a little bit better view there. Oh. There you go. actually some glue coming out there so oh, we don't need to wipe it it should go in okay now just put in some glue in here okay just Smear this in, nice and lovely. A lot of it is going to squirt out on the sides, but that's going to be okay. You can always wipe that off. Yep. Right. mallet here so we got our frame together it's glued and um, I put some L brackets in the corners just to give it some extra rigidity now the next thing we want to do is, if our tile is going to fit in here, right, we want to give it some support through the middle, right, because it is a tile and, um, you know, I just want to prevent that somebody puts something on it right in the middle and because we don't have any support in the middle that it will just crack. So I'm going to um, put uh, a frame in there, uh, just a cross frame by using two bits of wood that I have here the first thing I'm going to do is actually measure right because they're actually a little bit too long but that's not a big deal so right where's my measuring tape I'm going to measure from the middle right and it says it's going to be around 34 to 35 mils actually 33 I'm going to make that cut in 33 so there's 30 there's 33 All right. I'm going to make that same measurement across the board here. I noticed like I were like went kind of pedantic that I went for 33. I might as well could have gone for 30. but Because um, it doesn't really matter because what we're constructing now is not going to be showing anyway. So if we have a few little gaps that's not going to be too bad as long as what we construct as a support is going to be exactly the same level with the inlay for the uh, for the tile so I'm just going to give a quick cut with the miter saw 
And that's the way I prefer to do it if I can do something with the least amount of effort I will I'm just going to measure this off here I actually should have checked if this is actually the middle so roughly at 64 and roughly I'm ending the center here on 32 so right straight on the straight on the money as they say It's not a very straight edge, but not to worry about that. You straighten this up. Because the precision of this cut is going to be in here. So, let's have a look now. I want this to be, actually, let's do this a little bit more precisely and easier to read. Seven mils. Got to be a little bit better visibility. See I can reach it? No! No problem. We just switch the blade on this one to a different position. There we go. There we are. Okay, that's going to give us a good measure of support there. Same principle again. So, doing the same. Little blocks, annoying me. Again, okay, we're going to do the same trick of actually checking how much we did get off. Actually, we were quite a bit more precise with this one here. Just going to make a mark here on the inside. Let's do the same for the other one. Come on, there we go. That's good. Right now you probably notice that it's not going to work, right? So, again we're going to do something 
we're just cutting in in the middle a piece and a piece here so you can have this cross happening mark off my other one and of course that one is going to go down 20 deep or 22 sure I get my marks there. Give it a good scratch. Right? There it is. I'm just going to work from this side. There it is. Put in this one first. Put it on the second one. Okay. So now that we're happy with that, um, we can actually uh, put in a few screws. And to keep that in a place, uh, but before we screw it tight, we're going to use some wood glue. There we go. We start with this one. There we go. Right. But basically we are done with uh, the top or at least the wooden part of the top. And next would be creating the legs. Now you probably noticed that I have removed these blocks because I put them in a place and I locked them and I just decided that you know, they weren't really that creative an idea. Nice try, but sometimes you go for something and it's just not working. So we're going to do something else. And that something else is actually going to be better looking on this piece. So, alright. So next up are the legs. <laughs> 